Hunter x Hunter, episode 26. Did we get another letter from Gon? Man, if you only knew. You are very, very, very optimistic. Then X and X after. Dear Mido-san, I almost died. I got beat within an inch of my life multiple times. And now I'm going to go into a tournament arc? That's just good news. Gon, I'm admitting a lot of details there with that synopsis. Wait, is this another recap episode? These letters from Gon episodes are... I'm still wrapping my head around this one. Because, yeah, it's hard not to admire the inner strength. I think it is true, like that old joke about just being the craziest person in prison. You can win through just sheer will and stubbornness and craziness. If you just make it clear, you will not back down and there's actually real conviction in that and it's not fake and you're willing to go way farther than anyone else, people will just get out of your way. Like we all kind of get the feeling of that in a snapshot looking at other people. But that only works until you meet a crazier person or somebody who has just no anything, no scruples, no guiding star, who's just out for blood and would be happy to kill you for no reason. Like if Hanzo wasn't Hanzo, Gon just dies, and what does that accomplish? Come to think of it, did Kua ever like... Did we ever talk about this? Did this ever come up? Maybe it'll come up later? Kua just murdered a dude. Was he hypnotized? Also notably, he wasn't there. He wasn't around when Kua went back. And then we opened some doors. <laughs> opened some doors and picked up some heavy things. So Gon and Kluwa don't really have adults in their presence. Like like I said, Kurupika and Leor Le Leorio are not qualified. They're not really stepping up. So the guidance they get is from just people they encounter. And I think a lot of people are taking the right tact with kids like this. They kind of recognize there's no brute forcing it, especially because unlike real kids, they have the power to do whatever they want and like live in the real world and make money and stuff. So what are even your incentives for them to change their behavior? So what they do is they kind of guide them stealthily by providing them challenges and then giving them feedback and lessons, bypassing all the brute force and anger and whatever that might be common otherwise. <laughs> Also for going in this in this regard, again, as I've said again and again, I'm really, really big on the idea that going for an imperfect vision is still great. Like whatever the highest one you can identify is at any given moment, in a sense, it's probably the right one, which is why it's calling to you. So this fixation on that lost Hisoka, it will be what Gon needs, even if he's not conceptualizing it in the right way fully. With that out of the way, I mean, Gon is champion of like, man, pick your battles. Poor Mito. She just has to hear about all this. Oh, I sent a picture, that's nice. So they do seem to speak really favorably of Gon's dad. Really curious about Jing Freeze. Okay, another letter from Gon episode. It has been a journey. Oh, it's different! It changed, same song, but new images. Cool. We all got our licenses now. The test is over, but it still feels very much like the test is continuing. And more running, but this time on a building, vertically. Liora can't even hang up books. <laughs> Bumble that one too. All right, I'm guessing these are going to be uh, tournament peoples. This crew looking a little bit more adult than the last arc. <laughs> this is also the same, I guess, because Gon can't let it go. It's like unresolved issues. Maybe Ahsoka will be in the tournament. I'm waiting for that that frame to happen in the show. Gon and Kalua just kicking ass. Liorio fumbling books. Just two kids without any supervision. <laughs> Look out, world. That looks really familiar. What buildings does this remind me of? Is it Dubai? Arrival X at the X Arena. Look at all these NPCs. This is gonna be the Hunter exam part two. Life is just one long Hunter exam, it turns out. Oh, it's a very modern pagoda. No IDs, no age verification. It's a dark world. Watch Tompa show up just to try to ruin ruin something for someone. Why does this remind me of Pokemon? Look at all these NPCs. No weight divisions either, apparently. Oh, that's some hardcore training. He says happily. <laughs> I like how Gon is impressed that it, it took him long, the faith he has in his friend. 
no weapons. With one arm, basically, or one fully functioning arm. All I know is that Gon is not leaving. He will die before he backs down. Wow, I think I was maybe underestimating Gon's strength a little bit. You would think he and Kluo would become stars, right? Because of their, their stature. They stand out. This guy's lucky to be alive. He wants to stay with Gon, yeah. This makes sense. <laughs> There's two, two kids loose in the world with no supervision, having a great time just kicking people's asses. This guy's from the intro. Stop stealing our spotlight. I wonder if he does martial arts. And now we have three friends, <laughs> just like that. Best friends, because we were kids and we were in the same proximity and we were like fighting. <laughs> it took him all of five seconds to mention his martial arts. Man, all eyes on the kids. He's so little. Wow, you can buy a whole soda. <laughs> there it is. People are really risking it all for the soda. Solid. What do you spend it on? What did daddy take it? Yeah, I also want to know. We buy, buy Legos? <laughs> Kids with money, man. Yeah, makes sense. I had a very unique situation as a kid where I was making good money. Actually, it's weird for me to say and think about this now. I've never made as much money per unit of time as I did when I was like 10. You can all guess where that money is now. Gone. On what? I couldn't even really tell you. You just have no no concept of money and its value when, when you're a kid. Maybe everyone has to go through that once, at least. You have to go through that extravagant, non-concerned money stage at some point. Though some people get that lesson through necessity, like just having to support themselves and understanding the value of a dollar and how it correlates with work. Kalua probably still doesn't value it since he can make it so easily and since his family is the Gates family of assassination. So nice that we have veteran Kalua to show us around. Look at all these NPCs. Agreed. They just have M NPC fodder faces. He told no lies though. Oh, that was fast. That was unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. I don't think he meant that in a mean way, but that was incredibly condescending. But maybe no lies were told. He just can't help it. He can't help himself. Oh, there's no more... Wait, we didn't learn all the terms yet, or did we? I guess that's all we needed to know. I wasn't done learning English. He uses martial arts? <laughs> Isn't it the same girl from the Battle Royale arc? Oh, and it's betting. That explains where the money comes from. And they just signed Zushi a death warrant. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Zushi can do something. Whoops. Except for, you know, his legs, face, everything. And yeah, there, that's how I expected it to go. Now I bet he's, he's got more in him. He's got heart. Do I need to take my hands out of my pockets this time? Don't make Kalua angry, please. Yeah, I mean, there had to be more to this character than meets the eye. Uh-oh. I mean, his only advantage is that Kalua doesn't really expect much from him. I and mean, whatever this secret attack is, I guess. Wow, for Kalua to be scared. And hands came out of the pockets. It just got real. Don't do it. This is a very Megumi moment from Jujutsu Kaisen. Don't kill everyone in this room. The hell? What was he gonna do? Oh, 
Okay. Plua wins, but a little bit rattled. That's true, but I, I get the feeling that Klua... Yeah. Right, right. Oh, that's a weird connection. Alright, there's a lot more in this for Klua now than before. Someone tell this to Gon looks surprised at his own power. Yeah, they gotta become stars, right? Yeah, it wouldn't scale it linearly. Yeah, you go up high enough, you're fighting the best of the best of the best, etc. But still just using that one palm technique. Not even challenged yet. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine all the snacks we can buy. Clue the king of humble bragging. Totally, I thought of that before. I'm with Clue on this one. This guy's always lurking. Why is he always lurking? He's always like lurking 10 meters away. That's true. I feel you, Kalua. Give me everything piecemeal. Respect. Yeah, you can feel the conviction. I mean, it's especially impressive from Kalua because it's an admission of something he lacks. To want to learn something is, in a way, an admission that you don't know something, putting yourself at the bottom rung of other people. Kalua has been shown to have a lot of pride, so obviously this means a great deal to him. Continuing with the similarities of Kalua and Gon, they both have this chip on their shoulder, right? Gon, his run in with Hisoka. Kalua, his run in with his brother. Fitting that the two of them seem to be connected as well. Who knows? Find out in the next episode, Hunter x Hunter. Hey, new ending as well. Going reaching for his father. Kalua reaching for his brother. Creepy can reach for a spider. You are reaching for his studies. <laughs> oh, that's why he's in the library. What the hell is that? Yeah, this does feel like we're getting into some kind of power system here. That's a cool shot. Nice. Short and sweet. I like it. A what? Hunter Stroll? They just couldn't give up the temptation to give us words. Oh, they were so close. They were so close to ditching that format. They had to make it longer. They doubled down on the, the terms. It's funny to me how this tournament feels like light work. It feels like a vacation after the exam arc. All they gotta do is hit NPCs as opposed to running 200 kilometers and everything being a trick. My biggest takeaway from this episode, besides the gift that keeps on giving of their effortless friendship, is Kalua's growth. He went through a big humbling. And, you know, someone with that personality, they could double down on it. I think the instinct is for self-preservation and to rationalize away failings. Because, like I said, to fail means you have more to learn and to realize you have more to learn means giving up some pride, giving up where you thought you were. I think these moments hurt, but there's a lot of beauty in it. There's a lot of beauty of recognizing, okay, I actually am not there yet, and that's all right. Now, at least I have something to focus on. I have a purpose. I have room to grow. Anyway, being everything you need to be already, it's not really that great either. I think a big part of purpose and finding enjoyment in life, I would even argue one's whole mental state, like at some fundamental level, almost every person who's experiencing despair or frustration or just a, a great pain in their life, aside from recent tragedy, is probably going to be something like not feeling like one is progressing in any meaningful way towards 
towards one's goals or expectations, or the feeling that one can't progress towards one's desires or expectations, feeling like you're stuck or that you are a total victim of circumstance and have no agency in your own life. You can't self-direct your own success. That's why a tried and true solution to a lot of life's problems, I think, at least as far as one can control, is to focus dedicatedly and diligently on at least one specific area where you can feel like you're improving and getting where you want to go. Kalua was just handed one and he could have rejected it, but he took it on and Golan's right there with him. 